Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Rebel Galaxy. And we are on a sparrow hunt today, guys. Um, I have checked... We are still here in the Charon system. I have checked every single habitable base that won't shoot at me. And I cannot find sparrow anywhere. We have one more here at Yakotia Station. Here in the system, and if Sparrow isn't there, then we're gonna have to actually jump to another system to try and find her. Because I have determined that we are going to try and find the buffed up version of her by Hook or Crook. Now, we just walked into something nasty here. Oh, Hell's Bells, are we. Oh, we went to another final fragment area. I went to the wrong checkpoint again. Well then. Now I'm not that concerned really because I have been fighting some Viriac sh uh, ships off camera and we have been holding our own quite well. So I think as long as I'm able to have my deflectors up Let's just go ahead and chill here on the outskirts. Let Trell do her thing. Oh crap. Well then, we have found our location. Yeah, militia help would be good because there's a Viriax destroyer right there who... There's multiple Viriax destroyers. Militia craft are responding. Well, that's good to know. This isn't really what I was expecting. All craft, break formation and attack any targets of opportunity. We were just trying to find Sparrow. Hell's bells. Well, I guess we're in the thick of it here. Nothing to do now but commit. There's a lot of salvage opportunity here. So, we'll let the militia do their thing, and we'll just, uh... kill what we can. Because we have to destroy this entire base, it seems. Yee! Yes there, Mr. Destroyer, sir. See, the thing is, I don't know if I have enough firepower to deal with any of these big ships just yet. Unfortunately, I do not have a wingman to sit there and run distraction while we're doing our thing here. But, there another a big ship just went boom, so the militia is helping out. Let's go ahead and take out these light frigates then. And that's at least going to be something. And then the militia ships can take out the biggins. Ooh! Come on. There. Is the light frigate down? Let's not leave the uh, quest area since we're kind of stuck here. I'm not sure what kind of support we're getting from the militia. I just saw one big ship blow up and figure that that's uh, pretty good. That's some help at least. Missile Frigate isn't doing that much damage. Cool. Ooh, cargo container. Mark V pulse turret and diamonds. Awesome. Now, what are you... Yeah, we might as well take out these beam platforms while we're here. The thing about those Viriac ships is they are very, very slow. So let's take advantage of that and take care of the rest of this base's defenses. While they have their pants down, I guess. Would probably be the best way to word that. Now... Four of our turrets are Mark VI, so we do have a bit of offensive capability. Let's go ahead and focus on taking out this Corvette. See, look at that. 
We can just cut through their smaller ships, no problem. The big ships, ah, okay, they're dread stars here. Check it out. Militia bringing in the big guns. Ooh! And they're shooting us with their big guns. Well, let's he help out the militia since they seem to be focusing on one side. Yeah, there we go. It's good to actually be getting some help on these runs. That's a destroyer down. I really didn't expect to do this. This uh, episode. Now I'll assume that's bio waste. We're just gonna leave that alone. Yeah, Militia Dreadstar. I think that's the nastiest ship they have in their repertoire. And we're at threat level yellow, so... That's pretty good. I guess we could go ahead and just focus here on the outpost. So let's full stop. We're just gonna blast with all of our broadsides. Dreadstar is firing off some torpedoes. Well, actually, let's uh, finish off these weapon platforms, too. I don't want to be caught with my pants down, either, to be honest with you. Alright, that's another one down. Are we still focusing on the base? Oh, yes, we are. Well... Good for the turrets to keep their eye on the prize. Let's le have at least some of these uh, fire on the weapons platform. Here, we'll turn a broadside like so. There we are. Now we can take on the base. Those other Viriax destroyers just seem intent on just hanging out there in the background. So I'm not going to do anything to discourage them. And I'm going to broadside the platform while our turrets are working on the base. Oh, there we go. Where is it? Do we get our plat? Is it right there? Ah, there's the red quarry piece. Huzzah! Engines at Maximus fragment has been recovered. In addition, I succeeded in downloading a vast quantity of Viriax communication during the conflict. We have much to discuss after we leave this place. I think it's time we hightailed it out of here, don't you? Militia craft, exit the area and regroup at the jump gate. Aw, I wanted to take out these, uh, the rest of the Viriax ships here. Well, let's see if we can. There's not that many. I think we just have that destroyer left. And this beam platform. Let's not get too greedy here, though. Yeah, it's going to... It's going to war with the Dreadstar. Still got a little bit of cleanup to do. Well, this was completely by accident, but it paid off big for us. So, huzzah for that. Let's cut up this missile frigate. Is the Dreadstar... Oh, the Dreadstar is not paying attention to the Destroyer at all. Hmm. Well, that might just be, uh... Us fighting against the Destroyer. Alright, Wadget's Eye, let's see what you can do here. Okay, the lasers are... The lasers are doing a good bit of damage. <clears throat> and we're attacking the front of the ship, I thought this was the engine. So... Let's just go ahead and chill right here in front of the ship. And since our turrets... ...can attack from behind... It'll just be a matter of time before this destroyer is destroyed. 
Well, I guess we could work on the flank, too, but... Meh. It's okay. Those lasers that it just fired, that was the most uh, potent weapon in its arsenal. But there we go. We've taken out the side. Boop! Huzzah. With some good tachyon salt to finish it off. And we did that without a wingman, guys. That's kind of cool. So what were we doing beforehand, after that? We've got detected cargo over here. Detected cargo over there. I think that's bio waste, though. But let's see what's in this direction, because I don't think I came over here. Cargo container? Yes, yes, maybe? Uh oh. Now are you going to try and kill me? Uh, I'm just happy I could help. I have something interesting to share, and along with it, an idea. I mentioned that I was able to download a large volume of data from the Nereax outpost. And you've been able to decode it? I have. I have pattern matched their language against my now complete historical records and made allowances for changes in dialect over time. I believe I fully understand all of their communication. What have you found out? The very accident seeking me, the fragment we recovered from their outpost was their first acquisition. As you may have guessed, their aim was to utilize my ability to generate traversable anomalies in space. But they seem to have been jumping into our space without you, though. Why do they need you at all? The Variax homeworld is quite distant, and there are no discovered gateways to our corner of space. The jump gates they construct are small, temporary, and unstable. They have lost many craft attempting to use them. So they're trying to make a larger and more stable one. Their goal is to erect an enormous and permanent gateway to enter this sector with their entire fleet in an extremely short period of time. If this were to occur, they would lay waste to these inhabited regions in a matter of days. Then we have to get you out of here. No. It is time to discuss my idea. With my memories now intact, I have struck upon a way to avert disaster. Would you like to hear it? Huh. <sighs> yeah, of course. Not only can I erect jump gates at arbitrary points, I can also redirect them after the fact. I propose that we allow the Viriacs to open their gateway. I will then reroute the gateway to a less hospitable location. But that means we'll have to turn you over to them. I have been the instrument of other races in the past. Each time I have been used as little more than a tool. I believe it is time that I impose my own will upon the proceedings. So what do we do? I will ensure that the Viriacs keep me aboard the flagship. Once it passes through the gate, you must attack and destroy it, recovering me from the wreckage. I will then be able to redirect the gateway and send the rest of the fleet to a place where they will no longer be a threat. All right, I guess. Do not worry. I am confident that my plan will function. I will signal the Viriacs now. Prepare for their arrival. They may be quite hostile. Great, that's not what I was hoping for. Engines impaired. And our engines are suddenly impaired. Oh, oh, holy crap. Hi, guys. Hmm. I will attempt to translate. The Viriacs are demand. Oh, there we go. The Viriacs are demanding my surrender. There is more, but it's primarily infected. I guess this is what we wanted. I am agreeing to the terms of surrender. They demand that it take place immediately. Be careful, Trell. The agreement is reached. We should perform the transfer now. They're probably going to swerve me as soon as we hand over Trell, but let's get this over with. I am safely aboard the Viriax vessel. You should depart as soon as possible. 
Wait for my signal on the other Super Dreadnought. The Viriacs are arming their weapons. They have no intention of allowing you to leave. Mm -hmm. You must go. Now. Yep. I and figured that. No longer impaired. Threat level. Red. Craft inbound. So. If it's all the same to you, we'd like to leave this damn system. We'll keep the Viriacs busy. Head to the gate and we'll be right behind you. But all I wanted to do was find Sparrow. But the militia are helping out, that's good. Can we just go ahead and destroy the dreadnought right now? Well let's look let's look at our uh, mission log. Leave Charon very high. So at least we're kind of back into red quest area. So we need to finish getting all of our stuff up to Mark Six. Or at least our weapons. The engines and whatnot, not that big of a deal to me, but we need to get our other three turrets up to Mark VI to go along with our shields. And we should be in good shape. And it looks like the jump point that we need to go to is right next to where we were going to check for Sparrow. So hopefully we can get some more good news. Well, actually we have bad news, but... Alright. Come on, big bucks. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. And we have no damage to the ship, which is awesome. Let's check the commodities market. Oh, everything's marked up. Awesome. Sell the gold, the diamonds, alien artifact, pure water. That was a shiny day for us. Ah, oh, there's Garrus. Not who I'm looking for, unfortunately. Um, Let's check the equipment bay here real quick. I don't really care about the broadsides or the flat cannons, really. I'm, I'm, we're, we're very, very close to just getting our main offensive capability up to full. Now I do have some surplus here. Got a Mark V pulse turret. I will sell that. Is that enough to? No, we need 3.7 for each mining laser. Uh, we do need to go ahead and leave the system anyway, because we need to go find Sparrow. Which is unfortunate, but... We'll take care of two birds with one stone, and head back to Persephone. Now I wonder where this final mission's going to be located at. Looks like we have a few we have a few militia ships. I don't know about you, but I've had just about enough of these damn bastards. Militia craft, fire on that gate. Let's get it closed. Oh crap! Well, I think that's gonna. Looks like the Viriacs are using Charon as a staging ground. We've done enough recon to at least begin to estimate their numbers. We're heading back to Militia Command to sort through the data. Watch your back out there. Well, that's nice, but we just lost our, uh, jump ability to the system. That sucks. Oh well. Let's go ahead and continue on our sparrow hunt. Keep our eyes on the Irish prize. With Irish eyes. <laughs> well, at least the militia... At least they can hold their own. At least we're not having to, like, bail them out the entire time. It's not like that first qu or that first mission where we had to, uh... Uh, we had to bail out the Russian lady. For you know what, Greel? You really don't want to mess with me right now. I've, I've dealt with far nastier craft than you. But if you want to, we'll dance. Ah, told you. There's nothing you wanted to do. Boop. And you have some robots. We will grab those. Any of you guys want to get Brody? 
I'll fight a Dreadnought right now, I don't care. And they all seem to be running, so that's good. They just keep on hitting me with those stupid uh, interdictor missiles. I think we may be coming close to the end of the game here, guys. What do we have? The gate. Risk very high. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try and grab Sparrow. I'm gonna keep my eyes on this, uh, hunt. Head to these bases we haven't gone to yet here in Persephone. Because we're, we're gonna need all the uh, firepower we can get, I'm thinking. Visit the bar. Hello, Steve. You know where Sparrow is? That'd be awesome if you told me. And, ah. Uh, robots and metallic ore. Not really worth a whole lot. Hmm. So where else have we not gone? Satpav Core Outpost. That's a trade hub. I can't believe there are all these places we have not gone to here in Persephone. I thought we went to a lot of locations trying to find, uh, like, suitable cargo. It's alright, though. Because no, the Viriax don't really seem that nasty to me. But maybe that's because I'm equipped to take them on. But they seem a little bit incompetent, too. So I think we're going to be in good shape. We just need to be prepared so we don't fall flat on our face. Hi, Garrus. Maybe Sparrow's still sore about that dropping out of warp um, in orbit around a planet. I hope she's not that upset about that. There was nothing I could do about it. But I, I haven't really seen her since then. So, I don't know. By the way, guys, on the Wretch is Sick front, um, I think I hit the worst of it yesterday after I stopped recording. Um, slept pretty decent. I still have a little bit of, like, congestion. But it is starting to go away, thankfully, so... I think the worst is over, and that's good too, because I'm planning on taking a trip um, this weekend. And I was really worried that I was still going to feel bad. But, seems like everything is on the up and up. Come on, Sparrow. Big bucks, big bucks! I hate you, Garrus. Why you gotta... Why you gotta ruin my Wusa? Been there, been there. Um, we haven't been there, but that's going to lead straight to the gate, which we don't really need. Uh, Merchant's Guild Station. Man, there is a ton of bases in this uh, place we haven't visited. Well, yeah, might as well. I was gonna enter. I was gonna answer that distress signal, but I saw nothing but red, so I think that's a trap. Engines at maximum. It's going to be really, really good to get Sparrow back on our wing. I think she's obviously my favorite. I think if I had to, out of the wingmen that we've had, I like Sparrow, Steve, Groot, and Garrus in that order. In terms of like their characters. Oh yeah, and uh, Skizga. Skizga's after Groot. So she's second from last. But... I bet there have been a good selection of wingmen. The only one I don't think we've grabbed has been the cyborg guy. He's pretty pricey, too. In this area of space. Come on. Sparrow? Ah! Hi, Groot. And you're not in... You're not good Groot, either. Well, we may have to settle for, um, Skis guy. I don't really want to do that, but... 
We need the firepower, and I really don't want to go on that much of a wild goose chase if we're coming near the end of the game, because next episode might be the very last one, guys. I don't know, but this this has some finality to it. Stop the Viriax invasion, blah 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 blah. It's like right out of uh, Wing Commander Prophecy. Before the main, like, dread fleet comes out. And spells doom for everyone in the sector. There's Groot again, he followed me. Wanker. <laughs> Bad Chewy. Stellar map. Tech boom. How hard is it to find a very competent female Irish wingman here in the cosmos? Especially when she was everywhere in our uh, earlier adventures. I'll try this base and one more. And if not, I'm gonna have to try and track her down off camera. Because we're running out of time today. Whoa! Hello, Corians. Skipped. We threaded the needle and went right by the base. There we are. Now the heat's on here. This would be a good place to find Sparrow. Maybe? Nope! Screwed again. Oi. I'm so discouraged. Stellar map. Mark. Oh, it's a prison. Maybe Sparrow got thrown, uh. Threat level blue. Thrown in jail since the last time we met. Put in a penal colony. She seemed to have that vibe. Someone said something they shouldn't have, and she punched someone she shouldn't have. This will be our last stop here on the episode, and if we don't find her here in prison, then we will uh, attempt to find her off camera before we take care of this gate mission. Come on, big bucks, no whammy. Because this also is an extreme difficult um, area. Ah, Skiska. Oi, oi. Well, that's unfortunate. But, I'm not sure if this is going to be the last mission um, in the game, guys, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Um, I'm going to keep on going to all these bases and see if I can find Sparrow. And honestly, I don't want to finish the game without her, so we will uh, see what happens. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.